Since grandpapa made this recipe on TV, I've been making the most amazing and delicious meatloafs at home. Smoke, creamy, tangy, juicy meatloafs. And then when I was happy and stuff, my friend Adam hit me up on Instagram and gave me this crazy idea. What if we replace the meats we combine in the recipe with wagyu? Yes! You see, the original recipe from Grandpapa is based on a combination of one pound of pork, one pound of shark, and one pound of sirloin. That has been the winning mix in this house for years. But what about if we change all that with wagyu? That has to be something else. So I went to Walmart and I got me the equivalent of three pounds of Wagyu burger patties. And the idea will be to combine them all and make a meat love with it. This can be the best idea ever or the most disappointing and frustrating one. I'm watching you, Adam. But now thinking about it, I have a bunch of those crazy ideas, so I don't think this is gonna be the worst ever. In any case, you will be the judge. Let's go. But before getting into the meat, there is a few things we need to do. The first thing recommended in Alton's recipe will be the glaze. For that, we need the following ingredients. Two thirds cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of tomato paste, two ounces of chipotle pepper, and one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Two thirds of this glaze will go into the meat loaf, and the other one third will be the one we use to glaze our lovely creation. Now to the secret ingredient. Grandpapa called this his secret ingredient, but I don't think he might me sharing with you. Here we go. We will use six ounces of delicious barbecue potato chips instead of breadcrumbs or anything else. All we need to do is to break them up until it looks like heavy breadcrumbs and add it to the glaze we still have in the bowl. After that, we will need to get the aromatics going. For that, we will use one entire onion, a full carrot, seven garlic cloves, and one jalapeno chili. And please remember, do not touch your eyes until you handle the chili seeds or you will regret it. With the food process of food, we will pulse it about 10 times and sweat it into a pan with olive oil, salt and pepper over low medium heat. All we're looking for is for the onions to brown and soften a little bit, not to caramelize. Once we get to the point we want, it's time to add them to the bowl with the glaze and potato chips, and then is when we start working with the meat. In the same bowl where the other ingredients are, we will place the wagyu meat together with three eggs. One egg per pound of meat, and that goes with any meat you use in your meat dogs. And to mix it all up, we will use just our hands. In the mixing, we want to keep the integrity of the meat, so we will be poking and folding, but try not to squeeze, as that will trigger another process in the meat we don't want that. After it is all done, we will transfer the entire mix to an aluminum foil to form the meat loaf. At this point, you really want to press and compact the meat as much as possible so it doesn't fall apart in the middle of the cooking process. Now we will wrap it up and make some holes in the foil so the fat has a place to skate. Now we let it sit for one hour. That is how the recipe goes, and it's the perfect timing to get the grill going. With everything ready, all we need to do is to place it in the cooler side of the grill and crank it up to about 300 degrees. We will let it be without touching for 45 minutes, and then we will open the aluminum foil at the top to glaze this beauty up. This is also the perfect time to insert your thermometer in the meat, since we will let it cook until it reaches 140 degrees. But hear me up, we all know that that's not what the government recommends. They recommend ground meat to cook over 150 degrees. But if grandpapa recommends 140, I go with 140. And after all that work, you should be awarded with something that looks as beautiful as this one. Juicy, creamy, tasty, tangy, beefy, smoky meat love that will make your life so more enjoyable. Oh my God, I can't wait to cut this up. But wait, when 
need to let it rest for about half an hour. Yes, I know it hurts a little bit, but those are grandpapa witches. Well, guys, what do you think? As you can see, this thing is going fast, okay? So it's better if we give it a try right now, real quick. Otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen with this thing. This looks ridiculous good. You know what it is? Meatloaf. Yeah, of course. Well, I will tell you this, guys. You know what it is. But I have to let you know, it is really, really fragile. I mean, it didn't break. It didn't fall apart. But it's kind of there. If you don't handle it really well, it's going to fall apart. And I think that's because of the meat. Miss Ninja, let's give it a good try and see let's what's Let's do it. Up. Let's do it because this thing looks gorgeous. Go for it, Look Ms. at the Ninja. color. Oh, my gosh. It is so soft. Let's see it. Mm, try. Oh, my me. God. Look at all the colors. Me the red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the juices that are coming out. It smells, guys, like I know. it's not tomorrow. When you open the aluminum foil, oh, oh my God, the smell. Wow. Oh, wow. It's like... Miss Ninja, that's the... Oh, my God. My glasses. Wow. This is really, 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 really good. Love it. Mm. Wow, man. This is good stuff. You know what I like? What do you like? The, the tangy flavor. It is tangy. It is juicy. It is amazing. It, it is smoky. It is really good. And it is delicious, brother. Ninja approved. Man, <laughs> guys, you need to try this recipe. This so good. good. Love it. That jalapeno give it a little tangy flavor. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. smoke is amazing. It, it's it's the crazy. The color. It's crazy. I love the color. I love it. I, lo I mean, and let me tell you the why you makes a major difference. Guys, I will tell you this, man. If we made you hungry, can you please hit us with the like? Lots of lots of likes. Subscribe to our channel, share with your friends and family, and yes, don't forget so. to leave your comments down there. I'm pretty Good. sure you haven't seen this thing before. Adam, <laughs> you're the man, bro. Thank you so much for the idea. And Grandpapa, <laughs> thank you, buddy. <laughs> Leave me your comments down there. Let me know what you think about this. Would Do you it. make it? It's cheap. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It is delicious. It's That's delicious. all for today. But remember that I love you. Mm, love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.